So I'm here at the GIST competition with Bilal and Fahad. Hi guys, how are you enjoying it? Having a great time with it. And looking forward to the results now. I've done the presentation. There you go. Did you already pitch? Yeah, in fact you were the first ones to pitch. Ah, okay. Yeah. And explain your idea to us. Well, what we developed is an artificial brain control limb prosthesis uh, for amputees. Uh, presently the options available in the market are very expensive. So in third world countries the amputees have no option. So what we have done is that we have developed a product at one sixth the international price and it has much more better technology than the present competitors. So we are hoping that we can provide a solution to the people, uh, amputees living in third world countries like Pakistan, Iraq and Afghanistan. How are you able to create uh, prosthetics at one sixth the international price? It's because uh, due to the uh, lower overheads that we have, and um, in fact there are uh, there's a two pronged answer to this question. Uh, the first one being that we have a very different technology that we're employing. Uh, the technology that's, that's that's currently in the market is different, but we have uh, but we have uh, in a way it is completely different, and uh, that makes us that helps us to keep our costs down. And secondly, uh, it's about the overheads. Like uh, you know, the companies in uh, in the Western world, like Autobock, uh, they have a lot of overheads, uh, running expenses. But in countries like Pakistan, uh, where we have uh, much lower overheads. Like if I give you an example, uh, if there's an uh, there's an engineer in, in a company in Pakistan, he would you know uh, be on a salary of three hundred dollars per month. But in case of uh, Germany or US, he would be getting like six thousand uh, dollars per month. So the overall uh, main contributor is the lower overheads. Right. And how do you are the where do you source the materials? How do you design the materials? What's the innovation there? Um, actually, uh, the the main the main uh, contribution uh, is actually the, uh, the 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 signal acquisition system and the the electro electronic design because uh, physically, like you know, anyone can replicate. But uh, the main, uh, the main, uh, the main thing that, that we innovated was the signal acquisition system and the signal processing system. Uh, that's the main innovation. How does that work? Can you just describe it briefly to us? So it's like uh, when you think of a motion, a neural signal is generated in your brain and it travels down to the stump uh, of the amputated limb. So you don't have a limb in case of an amputee, but you have the stump. We attach our prosthesis with the stump. So when the signal reaches your stump, the EMG electrodes present in the prosthesis detect that signal and they translate that using algorithm into physical motion. So it's like just a real limb, non-invasive, everything, just working on the surface. So any motion signal that would be transferred to the, translated to the stump, it's it's fine-grained enough to detect hand motions? Exactly, exactly, completely. Because, you know, uh, whenever you think something, uh, a different uh, a different area is actuated, a uh, different motor point is actuated, and a different intensity of voltage is actuated. So the EMG sensors are able to detect that, that which particular motor point has been actuated by the brain and what's the intensity of that signal. So, you know, you can, uh, you can have the corresponding motion. So, even, so, it's, so it's in the uh, electrical signals in the muscle, but it it's, can detect like fine-grained hand motions? Uh, like, uh, like, you know, mere, mere uh, tickling, like, you know, mere uh, finger movements? Yeah. Yes, yes, completely. We have a prototype, in fact. In fact, we've been we working on it for three years and we are at a very advanced stage now. We are working prototype, we have a video as well. In fact, we have brought a video and you know... Demonstration. We wanted to bring the prototype and demonstration and everything, but uh, logistics were not there. So we didn't manage that, we brought a video with us. And, and does the algorithm that uses the electrical signals in the arm to translate into the prosthetic arm, does that algorithm continue to learn? Uh, does it adapt for an individual person or...? No. In fact, uh, in fact the person using it has to adapt to the system. Because uh, the algorithm is standard, mm -hmm. and you know almost every per person has the standard signals, st st standard areas being actuated for corresponding motion. But you know the person using it has to uh, get trained according to the processes. It's one week time for trained for the processes. It's just one week. Yes. Amazing.